Hello friends. Thalidomide disaster or thalidomide tragedy is a well-known medical tragedy which had an important place in medical science history which lead to evolution of pharmacovigilance and structured drug regulations. This video will describe, what is thalidomide disaster. Before starting, I will request you to subscribe, share and hit the bell icon for more such videos. Thalidomide was first marketed in 1957 in West Germany under the trade name Kindergen. The German drug company Chemi Grunenthal developed and sold the drug. Primarily prescribed as a sedative or hypnotic, thalidomide also claimed to cure anxiety, insomnia, gastritis, and tension. Afterwards, it was used against nausea and to alleviate morning sickness in pregnant women. Thalidomide became an over-the-counter drug in West Germany on October 1, 1957. Those subjected to thalidomide while in the womb experienced limb deficiencies in a way that the long limbs either were not developed or presented themselves as dumps. Other effects included deformed eyes and hearts, deformed alimentary and urinary tracts, blindness and deafness. Shortly after the drug was sold in West Germany, between 5,000 and 7,000 infants were born with phocomelia, seal-like limb, malformation of the limbs. Only 40% of these children survived. Throughout the world, about 10,000 cases were reported of infants with phocomelia due to thalidomide. Only 50% of the 10,000 survived. The negative effects of thalidomide led to the development of more structured drug regulations and control over drug use and development. In spite of its disastrous fetal toxicity and effects in pregnancy, thalidomide is a relatively safe drug for humans other than the fetus. Even the most serious risk of toxicities may be avoided or managed if understood, and despite its toxicity, Thalidomide is now approved by the FDA for limited use as a potent immunergulatory agent and to treat certain forms of leprosy. Thalidomide is used as a first-line treatment in multiple myeloma in combination with dexamethasone or with melphalan and prednisone, to treat acute episodes of erythema nodosum and leprosum and for maintenance therapy. Thalidomide is used off-label in several ways. It is used as a second-line treatment to manage graft-versus-host disease and aphthous stomatitis in children and has been prescribed for other conditions in children including actinic prurigo and epidermolysis bullosa. The evidence for these uses is weak. It is recommended only as a third-line treatment in graft-versus-host disease in adults, based on lack of efficacy and side effects observed in clinical trials. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe.